okay, welcome to Six Scale, 10, 10 14, uh, October 14th. Um, the link to the document is, uh, is in the chat, add yourself as an attendee, um, and feel free to add agenda items. Okay, um, so let's get started. It looks like, so the first thing is the thing that I added. Um, all right, let me, uh, it's pretty large, uh, there's some snippets in here. So um, if you wanna add agenda items, just add it on top here, it's just so I don't miss it. Um, but we can start with this. So um, I was looking at a little bit of tracing and they are doing it some tra do some tracing in the code. Uh, uh, the problem I was actually looking, looking at was um, trying to figure out um, you know, what's going on between the time, the transition time between scheduling and scheduled. Um, I see a lot of time gets taken up in this, in this area. And um, um, I uh, want to do a little bit of tracing. So I, I found this library, um, the, the uh, Kubernetes API server actually uses it. Um, there may be other places it's used, but um, it's it was pretty easy to, to kind of, to take advantage of and add to the code. So basically the way it works is like, if you, um, if you um, add a, um, you got some some traces that if they go over a certain amount of time, um, it'll just print to the um, to the log um, the amount of time from when you started the trace to when you um, to when it stopped. And you actually have some cool things like uh, you can add steps in there, um, and then it takes the difference between the steps and it ends up printing them out. Um, and so I what I did was I actually added. Um, I looked in the VERT controller since that's where I'd expect to see the most of the time between scheduled scheduling and scheduled to take. Um, and I found something that's kind of weird to me. So to kind of explain, um, so I don't have the full picture yet, but to kind of explain what I'm doing is that um, I have this thing called Q and I have a count. Um, basically um, I can, I'll show you the code. Um, it might be even easier to do. Um, and so I, um, I added this, um, Right in the execute. Um, can you see my terminal, by the way? Making sure I'm showing everything. Yep. Okay. So I, what I do is I add this. Um, I start a trace with a key in this execute function, um, and uh, I step. Uh, I'll step if I requeue. I'll just record a step, and then um, I stop when we do after we do the, the forget, um, and. The um, when I do the recording, I actually take um, I have a count along with it that uh, will increase whenever um, uh, every time that the the key gets seen on the queue again, I uh, just increment it uh, over and over and over again and record the time in between each of the um, uh, the last step and this step right here, which is the um, the queue with the count. So that's how this comes out. You can see like Q1, Q2, Q3. there's there's a three in there, it was just too fast. The way this records it is I might, uh, anything less than a, a millisecond gets thrown out and sometimes they're just too fast. Um, so it's four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, um, 11. And so you can see the total time um, it took uh, to go through this to get to scheduled 52 seconds. And I actually went there on the object and, and looked at it and it's, it's pretty accurate in terms of the way it, um, in terms of the total time. But the thing that was weird, is that, and I saw this in pretty much every VMI that I looked, right around the ninth time, the eighth time, somewhere around there, that this object goes through the queue, you can see this. Uh, this is a large number, this is, 46 seconds. And then here's uh, another one, Q8, eighth time to the Q, we have 34 seconds. The total time is 39. Where? So uh, significant amount of time, yeah. What controller was this again that you this is, code? Yeah, this is invert controller. Oh, sorry, is that, is that answering your question? So this is in the... Yeah. Um, yeah, this is in the VERT controller. It's in the um, uh, it's in the watch um, the VMI execute loop. Yeah. Okay. So you have a you start the trace the first time you see the key and you uh, end the trace once it's been forgotten. And if there's an error, I guess that's what I'm interested in the most. If there's an error, then we just do a step and 
do you know if like the 43 second whatever gap uh trace if there were errors that occurred during that i don't so so do we call execute here yep i should see them um here in this i should catch them here and um i don't see any um i don't see anything occur uh the so 43 so the only thing i get that i actually could see that like it's so between q8 and q9 is update status is has a step in there and it's very quick and it ends almost instantly and we go right to q9 so I, my thought is that we're waiting that like on the queue strange. which is yeah. but that's a long time 46 seconds um, so we're saying that the 46 seconds is the time spent executing a key. Is that accurate? Yeah, it's, it's, it's the, so this is, well, okay. The, the, this, this total time would be the time it takes to, um, to move from when we first saw the key to when we finished processing it, the time between the queues would be, um, when like yes yeah, so like you said executing we're doing work on a key it's popped off the queue and we're we're in execute forty six seconds to execute a key so do the Prometheus metrics um, show like I would expect the uh, we had some sort of metric around uh, work queue duration or something like that maybe we don't but uh, I would expect that to show spikes like this as well, if this is occurring. This is uh, really unexpected. 46 seconds in BERT controller uh, is crazy. Yeah, this is weird. And what thing I find with this is it's everywhere. Um, like if I do, um, if I go back, and this is just, I all I did is I did this with just um, a mid cluster up. So you can try this, I can give you the patch if you want. Yeah, share that. Uh, if you could put that patch or your branch uh, in the notes or something, that'd be helpful. Sure. Like my first instincts when I'm hearing this is that there's something uh, unexpected happening with your patch and less likely with vert controller. So this sounds crazy. Okay. Yeah, like here, here it is again, like right on Q9, right around in the middle. Here's again. Well, actually, that's the same one. That's the same VM. Here's again Q8 and the eleventh VM that I do. Yeah, it just kind of shows up everywhere. Nine, ninth VM, Q9. Yeah. I don't know. I it, it's it's weird. I'm still trying to figure out because there's something. Yeah, there's just something bizarre with um, what I uh, expected, but. The beside, even even though like well, I still invest. I'm gonna still investigate this, but I don't know. I want to see if there's, if there's any thoughts around this. But I think there, what's cool though is even actually this this library is really easy to integrate. It might be something. Um, I don't know if it makes sense. Like if we want to do it in, if we could do this in logging or something. But I don't know. I find this to be valuable. Like if we, I could set the threshold to anything, um, like one second, um, which would probably be more reasonable. And we can actually see all the steps it takes for that or over one second um, it might be something easy we can do to um, improve tracing. I don't know how this would integrate with other tools, but like Jaeger and stuff, but um, I don't know. It seemed like a pretty serviceable, easy on ramp to, to get some information. Um, so yeah, it, it seems valuable. more practical to me than some of those other more advanced tools for what we're trying to see. Yeah, yeah. No, it, sounds, it looks very interesting. Yeah, I think I, I've seen in the past some sometimes messages like this when when the when the, the stores were not fast enough to catch up with what events coming in and so on. Yeah, yeah, and, and like um, you said, David, like there we we do see some of this like with the longest running, um, was it like remaining work or something like the the metrics for this like we see that the I think they're I don't know if I have them somewhere here Marcelo's pictures but we do see some that that you, know, you see pretty often that there are ones that are fairly long i think where we see them in like we've seen 10 minutes i think if i remember correctly that we see some very long ones if i can find his um previous document it's somewhere in here but 
Yeah, that's so the thing that's surprising to me about this is that Vert Controller isn't doing anything that's blocking. I mean, it makes some API calls and things like that, but I think they have deadlines and under normal operation, like we're talking milliseconds for those. Uh, so for this to be causing 45 second or 43, whatever it is, delays during X, I can't think of anything that we do that would cause, that's very strange. And, and you could really see also on the VMs that some were hanging on startup or? Let's look at them. Um, like that sounds like the amount of time for scheduling or something like that um, to be reflected. And even that's high for, for some clusters. So 10. So yeah. bring this up. Uh, this is uh, about a minute, right? Yeah, but this, is, so the scheduling step is pretty fast. Scheduled, right. Okay, so it's all the way to running, but here is a second, yeah. Yeah, and then That's we have- Normal. Yeah, but then yeah. we have more than a minute. I don't know, it's scheduling, as you said, it's a scheduling phase, yeah. yeah. It's, so it's from, it's from here to, here. Yeah, but so the pod was probably waiting for a place to get scheduled or something. Sure, that's totally yeah. normal. A second there, I don't even, would never even consider that being a problem. So where, did, was this the... Um... No, yeah, yeah, so so pending to scheduling is one second, right? No, right. pending to scheduling is... Oh, it is a second. That's yeah. that millisecond. And yes. then uh, um, until the pod is up and running, it takes more than one minute, which means scheduling plus starting and ready reporting from the pod. That's what we see here combined. Yes. So <clears throat> if the pod needs some time until the image is pulled longer than usual, or if it takes some time until it gets scheduled, this can easily be a big number. I just wonder now from the tracing perspective, if, if from the tracing perspective, it would look like it is really in the controller loop this time. But here it looks like it's more the stuff where, where we're waiting to get scheduled or something. Could you check the, the pod itself? Yeah. That you can see when it got ready and when it got created. That's also interesting for us. So let's go up to the creation time. Oh, this might be better. Ah, I had even the events, so it got created. Yeah. Yeah, that's not fine grained enough. What are you looking for here, Roman? I just want to see the creation time and until it's and the, the readiness time step. So it's started at 9.39.15. And, oh, that's any container. They can, I wanted to see the create time of the pod itself. It's in the metadata. Yeah, it's on the top. Not this. Here. Yeah, and uh, you, uh, yeah. 14. Start. Right, is that so, a method? Yeah, the... so it gets immediately scheduled, but then I see that the init pod above just finished way later. So in a container. All this is asynchronous to Here, the that, that's, controller loop though. It's the init container disk, so 940. Here you see the difference. So it's and it took it so long until the init container was done or even that, started. That shouldn't so be reflected be in this trace. The trace, yeah. okay. I agree, but this explains the long time from the timestamps in the VMI what's captured, right? Yes. So, um, so what I know wonder, I mean, there is a huge number in the trace. The trace is even bigger than, or as big as we, what we see here. 
but this, this as we can see, it's minute. not reflected in the timestamps here that there would be an additional delay where nothing happens in between. That's what I wanted to see. So this is a this is so this is a minute. Um, yeah. Okay, and then uh -huh. um, that's still within that forty second window. So what what, what would we say we're we're doing? We're waiting. We're just waiting for this right here. This has to finish. So right I here. don't know what he did with the tracing code. I would have a look there, but here it just looks like it took pretty long until the disk uh, until the container disk was pulled and started. If you could look at the describe again, we could probably see it again. Or to the events at the bottom. Yeah. Here, you, here we see that the container, yeah, it started pulling with 36 minutes ago and 35 minutes ago, it successfully pulled it. It took one minute, pull took one minute 15 for that VM. Oh, I see, okay. That doesn't explain yeah. the trace. Yeah, so I, I wonder now, since Wait, from the timestamp perspective, this it looks like, like we're tenth. covered here. So I wonder if there's something wrong with the tracing statements. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I wanted to get it. Because tracing should just capture how long we are in the code in the controller. Oh, so you think so you think oh, so you think the tracing is capturing what then I'm, I'm capturing too much here? We don't know. We need to see the I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But it looks like it because I can see here on the timestamps on the pods and the VMIs, no hints that for 30 or 40 seconds, absolutely nothing happens in the controller and, in the, and it was stuck. It just had a normal startup flow where just the container pool took a long time. Yeah. And this, and this thing, um, you have to pull the container disk every time, um, or is this like this is this is like like is this this already exists? Like I've already this shouldn't like I have like I just launched twenty of these. This is what's what, what's doing this work? Like why is this this working on every VMI, right? So I mean, if it's already in the node and it's tagged, so it should uh, if not it you should use if not present with the pull. So. I go like I shouldn't see this on any other notes, right? I should not see successfully pulled image like at a minute fifteen. And how do how does it look look for another VM, which is on the same node? I mean, only the first one pulls it, of course, and only that one gets the delay edit. So maybe it was just a matter of the first VM, which had to go to the next node at this delay because it had to pull the image. Yeah, I don't understand that. Uh, why would? Yeah, yeah I, I mean, know, I'm just. It, how does yeah. make cluster up work? I don't know. Maybe I'm doing this with make cluster up because why? What okay, then it's pre synced normally. It should, but I mean, oh no, no, this, this not you. You're, oh, ah, yeah, you're just pulling it normally. So the first time you schedule a VM, it gets pulled, but only the first time. They're all the same image though. And, and if you go down, it already says container image already present on the machine below. So it took right. more than one minute to find out that okay. everything is already there. Ah, oh no, sorry. The first pull is from the init container. The second message is for the for for the container later on, which uses it too. Okay. I, I it looks to me like was that is that still the same? No, that's another VM. Is that another one which was slow or this is a different VM? It's the same image, different VM. Yeah, but is this also one where you saw a delay? I would Yeah, yeah. I still I'm here, I'll we can go back to the log. I'm, I I see this on, on all of them. Oh, you see this on all. Okay. I just okay. It looks yeah. like yeah. for whatever reason in your case it has issues pulling the image. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let me see. So not here's nine. Nine. There's sixty-two. Um, yeah, I mean I see it on all of them. There's five, fifty-five, seven's got. Okay, yeah, I, I would check in the code if you are. Yeah, 56. 
seconds. If you are capturing too much here, yeah. Okay. And verify and find out why the image pool takes long. Or why it even tries yeah, well, to pull it I might, away I might try this in a different I might try this in a different environment because I, I don't I don't understand that either. Um, okay. I'll play around with this. It's kind of interesting. But I anyway, that I just kind of found that pattern. I thought that was that was weird. I can share with you guys also after um, I'll share the patch and if you guys want to play around with it, um, or we can share whatever. Okay. Um, or we have no other topics. If we don't have any topics, we can. I can just share the patch. If people want to try it, we can do that. <laughs> what, <laughs> what do people? Uh, do we have any other things before we go down that that uh, rat hole? Okay, uh, hold on. Should we do, let's, we can review some of these or something first. So we have, um, let's see, we talked a little bit about this last time. There's some updates from last time um, that, uh, so if you do some, if you restart the, uh, the vert controller, you can actually, you can see this. Here's a, here's a picture of the, um, the metrics in Prometheus. So you can see the, um, the label gets dropped off. There's no, um, what are we looking for? I think it's um, phase. Yeah, there it is. There's no phase um, that shows up. And what I noticed recently is that if you actually go through and delete a bunch of these, all of a sudden you, the phase starts showing up again and then they get deleted. But um, it's almost like an event gets, uh, the, to reattach the label, it gets re-picked up. So I'm not sure what watches it or what would, uh, maybe like the metric that is, um, that does the labeling is, is uh, we lose it somewhere when the work controller restarts. And then we, we when another event for, occurs, we, we find it again, we, we find the VMI again, we label it based on its current phase. So it just happens when the update occurs. Yeah, I, I also saw it when the panic um, happened, that, that panic, okay. issue, panic issue too. This, so I'm kind of relating it to the being the virtual controller restarting. I wonder if we are allowing metrics to be scraped before we've had everything sync or something like that. I know. Okay. All right. Still need some more triage then. Um, I have a question about that. Yeah. Sure. So how long how long does it take for the label to reattach? Uh, so. So it, it will. Um, what I've seen is that it it'll actually like it won't ever reattach uh, if you say we're just to have a bunch of running VMIs in, in the zone. It does, if you just let it let the, the VMI sit there. It doesn't it doesn't ever reattach um it but for some reason when i was did a delete i noticed that a few of them did start to reattach um so my thought was that maybe an event causes it to relocate the the object and reattach the label i'm not sure though okay thanks mm -hmm. Um, let's see, um, profiling under high load, um, it's Tomas here. Just wonder how this is going yes, for you. Same. Hey. Um, let's see, Tomas, do you have an update on on this and how it's going. Yes, so there's open PR. Uh, I've addressed comments today from Janusz and David, and I'm just uh, waiting for a response and, and hope to have it merged soon. Okay. Yeah, I, I haven't done the profiling on the large scale. I mean, I did a bit, but I don't have the precise results. Uh, I hope to have it ready in the next couple of days. So. 
maybe I can share in the next couple of weeks for at the first glance, it looks like we spend a lot of time marshalling and marshalling uh, data. Uh, I've looked a bit into the code and it seems like sometimes we do it unnecessarily, meaning for instance, we just do it solely for, uh, for type conversion. Uh, additionally, we're using standard encoding slash JSON library. Uh, and there are like more efficient libraries to do marshalling and marshalling. Uh, which both uh, use less CPU, they, they just do less operations and they lose, use less memory. So uh, yeah, so I try to see how much of an improvement we can get by simply replacing the, the dependency. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, thanks Tomas. Um... I don't know, so we don't have, I don't think we have Marcelo, um, but we still have some open items here on the um, the previous experience that, experience that Marcelo did. Um, okay, so we said we're gonna profile, that'll be the next step for this one. And then, um, yeah, and this one we wanna talk about again, uh, we don't have Marcelo for this. All right, those were the bugs. Are there any other um, features or PRs out there that we want to look at? Um, I saw David's uh, request merged. And then uh, we also have, David, you have the um, you have the change that for CI that went in. Do we have like any data at this point from the, uh, from, the um, uh, from CI gathering uh, and towards any of the thresholds or? We should, time. yeah. I, I haven't looked at those periodics, but it's okay. a file that is stored as an artifact, or it should be. So we can begin. Um, I mean, we could use that today to come up with some thresholds. What's um, uh? Is it public? Is it something we can look at now, or is it like uh, do we need to move it around? I think Roman, is that public? Can anyone look at the Prowl artifacts? Uh, yeah, any, anyone can. I just don't know which job, job we're talking about. Uh, so we would want to look at the performance or the density test prowl periodic. Uh, and we would shift. want to uh, look at the artifacts there to find the, um, the perf audit results. I have others. Sick performance. Now I found the tests, and oh, they they are failing the the lanes. <laughs> ah. Let's see. I'm just sharing the link. Just a moment. Where is the chat? Ah, there's the chat. So anyone can just look and search for the perf tests. And let's see if it ran the test at least. The tests ran, one passed. I don't know why it's, ah, oh. <laughs> too bad. It can't find the perf scale audit tool. Oh no. So it runs everything and then it can't collect the metrics right now. Oh, there, yeah. Yeah, the perf scale audit file, oh, the config is there, but uh, no data. What do you mean the config is? There. Yeah, the, the, the config is also shared, uh, stored as an artifact. If you look here in the file, okay. the only stored artifact is the config JSON. And when you look at the test log, you will see that at the end, it complains about missing tool. So is this built from the latest in the main branch? Because we're supposed to be building perf audit by default now, I thought. It's probably just a minor mistake on, on where the binary is or something. That would be my expectation. Or the binary is not explicitly called before. That's just, just is there a way definition. to execute this periodic on a PR to make sure that uh, when we fix it, that we- uh, You have it. to duplicate it. 
as a pre-submit, as an optional one. You have to do what? So you have to take the whole job definition, copy it over to the period uh, to the pre-submit jobs. So you have to make, you have to copy the actual content That's you're executing yep. to a new proud job, which is a pre-submit, an optional one. And by being optional, does that mean that it always runs, or is it something that we can? You can over? decide on that. So you okay, uh, you probably want to make it optional and and only run when triggered. That's configurable. Yep, right. And then yep. then I would do a dash test and run and the name and then yeah yeah okay. And you can even write something like dash test help. This is a job it would it will not find, and then it will show you all the find jobs for the PR, so you can find the name too. Okay, I'll try to look into that. Okay, so does that need to change? Does that need to make a change? But or? but wait, there was a performance real time lane. Is it doing a similar thing? I don't know what that is. Uh, yeah, it does I, I think it does some? Oh, the real time one is testing the guest performance. That's something different. Never mind. So no data right now until we fix the job. Maybe. All right. Okay, so we need to make a change there. Okay. All right. Then maybe next time we'll have a. We can do a report for that. Okay. Um. All right, I pushed my changes. I, I mean, well, actually, before we do that, do we, do, do we have any other topics people want to discuss? Okay. All right. Um, also, could people add themselves as attendees? I've heard a bunch of people talk. Definitely. I only see two people. Yeah, add yourselves as attendee because we do just just to show that people are here. All right, I did push these changes here. I wanna look at them, let me see, I'll link them. Well, there's a link to the branch. Um, if you want to try it, um, so I, I guess the for this, um, let me I'll play around some more and see if I can figure out um, what this is. Maybe there's a mistake in here or something, but um, I kind of want to see what's going on. And then and then either way, um, depending on what what I find in this, I kind of want to see. I'll, I'll I'm gonna. Maybe come with a proposal or something and how we could add this or what's a reasonable way we could add this. Um, I, I think this is pretty convenient and uh, maybe just a very simple tracing and maybe start with the VERT controller or something. Um, maybe it doesn't even have to be configurable at first, but just something simple that we can post in the logs. I don't think it'd be too verbose if we make the, we pick some sort of reasonable time for like the logging, maybe something like, I don't know, we, I mean, we could do like a few seconds, like five seconds or something. I don't expect things to take that long. And then maybe we can output those just to, so we have them when we, uh, whenever they do occur. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I don't have any other issues. I think we can, uh, I think we can close early then if we don't, uh, we have no more discussions or anything. And then, um, yeah, check this out. Um, well, I'll message you guys on Slack, uh, David, afterwards. That, we can, I don't know, if you have comments on that, let me know if you see something wrong with it. Um, but I'll, I'm gonna keep playing around and see if I can figure out what this is. Okay. All right, everybody. I think we'll close okay. early then. Thanks. Great Thank, then. You. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.